in a country where there are a lot of creative ideas, where a lot of people get involved with our sustainable goals, there are not many parties who actually do to take the next step. In the north of Holland, we want to be a hydrogen valley. We see a big challenge and we see an opportunity and it's just about, uh, let's do it. What makes H2 Hollandia really unique? It's the scale of the project. The H2 Hollandia project can show that we can move towards the next step in scale, so a five megawatt system. And in addition to that, uh, to demonstrate the production of actual green hydrogen. The government are the solution, the key, to make the speed in this whole uh, transition. There are, there are several challenges. It is pioneering. It's a chicken and egg problem at the moment. We're talking about gigawatt scale uh, production facilities, whilst there is not even green hydrogen demand at that scale yet. The permits are very difficult because our government has also not a lot of experience with such big projects. But again, together with the municipality and also with some other overarching governmental bodies, uh, we managed to go towards this uh, final permit in a little bit over a year, so I think that's a great achievement. There are new systems, it's a new market, uh, which means you have high investment costs, high risks, looking at potential offtake, which basically means that it's not possible to get a viable business case. For HO Alandia, we actually got a, a subsidy, the DIE subsidy uh, from Groenvermogen. Groenvermogen not only helps with subsidizing the project, but also to interconnect different projects, to, to create a, a network, a platform in which projects can learn from each other and also exchange information about the challenges they had to overcome in order to make the, the 5 megawatt scale directly connected to solar PV also economically viable is also one of the main aspects in H2Alandia. The largest operational electrolyzer in the Netherlands today is 1.4 megawatts. So it's already about four times larger than that. And at the moment, we have both for the system, we found parties that can actually deliver the system with a high performance quality. And we are now in negotiations with an off-taker that also wants to off-take the hydrogen for a longer period of time. Basically, H2 Alandia uh, consists of uh, two main investors, Novar and Avitech, and then Repowered is there in order to advise in the technical and conceptual challenges that occur during the project. You need different types of parties. You need to collaborate in order to realize big new projects. In our work, uh, I have a philosophy that we in 2026-27, we will uh, be a zero emission with the whole company in our projects. What I hope is that this project is a spin-off not only for us and all the, the contributions of this, this project, but it needs to be a showcase for the rest of the Netherlands.